through the night comes a man who saves lives at the risk of his own. Once a circus performer. An aerialist who refused the net. Once a cat burglar. A master among jewel thieves. And now, a professional bodyguard. Primitive. Savage. In love with danger. The cat. Sneaking out of that party last night at the casino, I called ahead and hired a man, a, a bodyguard, a professional. He's meeting us here. Time score chain ain't even started yet. I, I'm supposed to meet someone here. My name is Benton. David Benton. Benton? Nope. Only had two customers all morning. Neither one asked for you. Are you sure this is the right place? How sure do I have to... I'm sorry, honey. Oh, it's all right, David. I guess we're both pretty edgy. He said he'd be waiting. Oh, we can't just stay here. Not out in the open like this. No, we've got to keep running and running and running. Only took two. Here, let me hold it for you. No! I'm only trying to help, mister. Uh, here's, here's your money, right here. That man promised he'd meet me. Hagen probably stopped him. How could he? You've forgotten. Percy Hagen can do anything. Oh, please, David, let's get out of here. In this heat, mister, you're going to come up sudden dead. Mr. Benton, Miss Pearson, Mr. Hagen would like to see you back at the casino.
Harvey, you're ready. We'll follow you. Uh, I'm sorry. We knew it would happen sometime, somewhere. There's just no escaping Percy Hagen. If you don't mind, I'll drive. Are you the gentleman I called? Cat. T. Hewitt Edward Cat. Details out on the phone, Mr. Benton. This, you mean? We can start with that. Facts, figures, records, evidence. It's taken us six months to get this information on Percy Hagen's operation. Us? I was able to help because I used to be what you might call Hagen's girlfriend. We don't have to discuss that. Everything, Benton. You want to see my scars, too? Crystal! Why make it sound so innocent? Everybody knows he owned me. Looks like he owns everything else. I was just one more expensive item with his personal monogram. It doesn't make any difference, not anymore. We've agreed to start even from today, sweetheart, not from the past. From today. I assume you plan to give that box of goodies to the government. There's enough in here to convict him for tax evasion, extortion, and murder. Hagen plays rough. Mr. Hagen plays God and wins at it. The lady seems to have a strong opinion. What about you? Citizen's duty or personal vendetta? I'm an accountant, Mr. Cat. A very good accountant with a master's degree. But they never taught me how to reconcile the books when the man is killed for not paying his gambling debts. I've heard about Hagen's collection methods. He likes to entertain clients on his yard out at the lake. I saw them push a man under the boat and hold him there with a fishing gaff. While Hagen turned up the engine, the blades cut him to pieces. That was six months ago. I was on board, too. What about the police? It was listed officially as a boating accident. Hagen had witnesses. The two of you? We confirmed Hagen's report. Because we preferred staying alive, Mr. Cat. Stealing Hagen's girl and running off with his books hasn't exactly improved your odds. We had to do something. Even if it's taken six months to find the courage. Please help us. That's beginning to pose a problem. Could be a stalled car. Or more of Hagen's bird dogs. We can't turn around. No, but we can take a shortcut. We got him. Call Mr. Hagen. <laughs> Hagen, do you read me? Over.
Anything behind us? Nothing but a lot of dust and sand and cactus and more dust. What if somebody saw us turn off the highway? Any suggestions? No. Then I guess we keep going. Let it cool. Unless somebody brought some water. Oh, bathtub full with ice cubes. Should make the highway in about three miles. Well, maybe we'd better start walking. The desert's a hot place to die, Mr. Benton. You said it was only three miles to the highway. What happens even if we make it? Get your ride with Hagen? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm not thinking. That's what you're paying me for, Benton. Why do you have to carry that thing with you every minute? I'm sorry it annoys you. I guess it's my turn now. I'm sorry, Davy. We'll make it, Crystal. We'll get away from him. I hope so.
What are, you, what are we going to do? Stay alive. I have a gun here in the case. Good, we'll need it. But, but I don't know how to use it. You better learn fast. Doesn't matter to you who gets killed, does it? Hagen or us? You're wrong. My job is to keep both of you alive. Doing that job, succeeding at it, does matter. Then how can you be so cold about it? It's part of my job, too. If I weren't a professional, I wouldn't be any use to you now. interested in the other two. No, thanks. I like my chances better on this side. You're a better fool than better. how he always used to do it. And the wolf, he couldn't just kill it. <laughs> that was too, too fast. He had to do it slowly, piece by piece. First the legs, and then the ears. <laughs> and then, he, and that's the way he's gonna kill us. Slowly, little by little. No, oh. not that easy. <laughs> Stay down. What are you going to do? Try to stop a hunting expedition. friend. 
Now what are you going to do? Trade you for a ride out of here. Uh, Mr. Hagen doesn't make any trades. Then you've got big troubles, friend. Move. Brunner! Jackson! You can't make it, friend. Benton's all shot up, and look at her. Crazy. What do you got going for you now? You, friend. Just you. Don't shoot, Mr. Hagen! It's me! Got something, Mr. Bethel? Give it to the sheriff. We don't need it anymore. You've given us a new start, Mr. Cat. From today? <laughs> From today. Well, take good care of him. I will. Almost as good as you did. Send me a picture of the wedding. The best man always gets a picture. Thank you. Here's the evidence against Hagen. Thanks. We got enough on Hagen to nail him for every crime since World War II. Well, that'll be a nice wedding present. You feel all right? It's just lonesome. For what? A nice, cool, dark alley. Somewhere in a big city.